I know you've all been waiting patiently. Um, I don't know how to explain everything that happened today. Um, right now, this is the truck that you've seen me driving uh, for, I don't know, 24 hours or something. That truck, um, we're trying to get it to work with daytime running lights on a trailer because I've got a cyber truck. <laughs> like what? I have no idea how everything came together like this. Um, but at the moment, I can't get the daytime running lights to work on the trailer on that cyber truck. Um, so we really need that to work to hit the road. And then you're going to get to watch a cyber truck towing a cyber truck across the country. I am super blessed. Uh, I can't thank all of you guys enough for the continued support. I am so excited to do all the fun things we're gonna do with this truck. And I don't take any of that for granted. There's some people at Tesla that um, did a lot to make this happen today. And I can't thank you enough. Um, I don't, uh, don't know what else to say about that, but uh, thank you very much. And uh, this is gonna be a pretty epic week. And I hope that you all stay tuned because I'll be, of course, updating along the way on social media. And then the video obviously will come with more details than what you'll see here. But I'm just, I still can't believe this is happening right now. Like what? Okay, I just wanna show you something real crazy since I have the unique opportunity to have two of these things right now. Entry, so this is the lowest suspension setting that you can have your Cybertruck in. It's called entry. This is the highest setting you can have. You have to go into off-road mode to get to this. That is as high as it can go, and it's called extract. Look at the difference in the height on these two trucks. So when somebody parks their R1T next to a cyber truck and like, oh, see, it's almost big. No, it's not. Stop. Just stop. This is the lowest setting. This is the highest setting. It's wild, man. Not a lot of trucks can move their height this much. That's insane. Let me see if I can. Uh... I mean, like, come on. That's <laughs> so awesome. And then from the other angle, and actually some pretty good lighting back here, so a little bit easier to tell. Just a monster difference between the height setting on these two trucks. That's crazy. Let's see if I, uh... <laughs> it's like a man and a boy is what's happening right here. This is nuts. All mine and uh, fingerprints included. Actually, uh, walking around it, it's pretty good. I see like most of the normal stuff, like on the hood, but this one's actually really good stuff. Look at this. So this is updated. So this has been an issue on a lot of trucks. Now we have a nice little gap there. That's good. So everything looks really straight, honestly, which is kind of a surprise. See the magic. Ready? It's so awesome. I don't know why, but these blade lights in the in the front of the truck and then also in the cab, they just it's so tron and it's awesome. Charger's right there. Oh, I gotta show you this. This is cool actually. Because it's not just any charger if I can get it out of there. So this is a Cybertruck mobile connector. Thank you. Okay, ready? Dang. So it, uh, a little bit different, kind of. This actually doesn't look different at all, does it? What happened? It's just black. Cut that out because that was lame. Hey, look how cool it is. It's just black. Real quick. That actually, hear that? Not a sound, unless it's just because of the highway. That could also be the case. Yeah, buddy. See here? 
man. Floor mats. Dude, the, it's so fresh, too. The carpet floor mats. Yeah. I like that the foundation series, like, they just, they put the all-weather mats in there for you. Ready to go. So right then and there, floor is already protected. And in this case, I don't need this because we don't have front license plates, so that's cool. I'm glad they didn't just mount that. And then, uh, that's for the sunroof, so. The sunshade? Yep. Is that for the sunroof or the windshield? Sunroof. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, we have our split, which I got a bunch of stuff in so. I don't know how far up it's gonna go, but anyways. So clean. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I think that's the right way to do it without fingerprint. What have you figured out works well? So when I close it, best practice I have found is just get my arm and close it right there. So I don't get any fingerprints on the side of the door. That's smart. It's really just the grease on your fingertips. Yeah. So your arm, that makes sense. I've seen, and this is a problem with all Teslas, but I've seen people grab the glass. And that always is like, no, don't grab the glass. At least <laughs> grab something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so, sure it's fine, but. Some companies but... are starting to make like these accessories that mount here as like a handle, which is cool. It just set, by the way. So I've got my profile saved in the other Cybertruck. I just watched everything go to my settings when I opened this up, which is, that's so awesome. No other car can you go across the country, get in another one, and all your stuff is saved. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. All right. You want to hop in? Sure. All right, so when you get in here, um, I'm not telling you what to do, especially on this stuff. I can only tell you what I recommend and why I do what I do. I allow them to have all the autopilot analytics that they want. I don't care about most of this. However, this one I don't like personally, so I turn it off. And the only reason is, I'm not saying that Tesla would do something bad with that, but my um, cabin camera, my kids are in here, my wife is in here. And I just don't know how I feel about that yet. Everything else though, I'm happy to share with them. They just don't need to see me, that's all. Man. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. Oh my God. <laughs> what other company does silly stuff like that? I love it. All right, and then the most important thing that my wife is most proud of me that I still do to this day, of course, and we got a really, you know, the only one that's worth having. There you go. And outside for everybody else. Oh, I didn't even know that. If you put it on the outside, I didn't know you could do that. Are you serious? You didn't yeah. know that? I've had a Tesla for how long? I've never known that. <laughs> I do it all the time. When family's in town, we park in the garage. Once they get out, you know, make it fart. Like, what was that? That's so awesome. much fun. Uh, temperature's already set to the only temp. Um, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to really set up. This is kind of crazy. That would be wild if that was logged in already. I'd oh, probably yeah. lose my stuff. Be like, what? Do you like it like this or do you like having the uh, satellite view? So I go back and forth. So it's a good question. I typically keep it off of satellite. However, when I'm home for long periods of time and I'm only traveling like around, I'll put it on satellite. And the reason is it's so easy to figure out where you are without the satellite data when you don't know the area. So this is traditional. It's easy to figure out where the roads are. Where a satellite, you don't see all these little roads like that very easily and it's hard to figure out. But it's interesting to me to see the satellite view when I know where I'm at and just like what it looks like from up there. I like that view, but only in the, uh, only in the X and when we're home for a long period of time. I do wish that the screen would tilt like the X. Um, I noticed that right away driving the other Cybertruck, a couple hundred miles already. I wish that it would tilt like the X. Um, I finally gave in and stopped leaving it in the middle. I uh, liked it to the side and I put it in the middle because every time I got my Y, it was awkward. But then I was like, that's not fair though. I enjoy it tilted towards me. So I wish that this would, and I'm sure somebody will bring an aftermarket idea for that, so. 
everything else looking good feeling good as long as it goes in drive and everything i think we're gonna be good i cannot believe i have a cyber truck this is so crazy like i uh I've been at the right place at the right time a few times in my life, and this is definitely one of the bigger ones. It is just like pure circumstance that this happened. And I was a couple hundred miles down the road and turned around, and it's still, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. I'm uh, super grateful for this uh, opportunity to own this, and uh, we're going to put it through its paces because I have a lot of plans with this truck. So I just can't believe we're sitting in here, honestly. So let's get this thing over there. Um, I'm gonna put it on the trailer and we're gonna pull it all the way to Florida from here. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to get there. Yeah, it'll probably be the first one to have done that. Tow a Cybertruck with a Cybertruck. And it's gonna be a sight to see, that's for sure. Okay, I'm still in Salt Lake City. <laughs> and it is, my, my watch has died already. Um, it's like, I think it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> We got our, we got a little out of hand, but I got to show you what we did. We, we made some enhancements for this uh, trip. And, uh, the only way to explain this to you is, well, I guess just show you. So the cool thing is we have a universal wall connector hooked up to the 1450 in the back of my truck, which is convenient because as it's on the back of this trailer, it's actually my range extender for the tow truck, which after you drape this cord strategically just happens to reach right here. And at 40 amps, 221 volts, that's pretty awesome. Was any of this necessary? No, but was it fun? Absolutely it was. And uh, for the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a Cybertruck towing a Cybertruck across the country. And no, yeah, first time ever Cybertruck charging a Cybertruck. That actually might not be true. I don't know. Somebody's probably already done that. But we did some wiring enhancements to the trailer. We're having all kinds of issues, but Everything has been sorted at this point, and um, we actually have some upgrades here too. So uh, the, this trailer has been upgraded just today. We have a power um, jack, which is gonna be appreciated because I'm probably gonna have to dump this trailer at most stops, but we're just gonna have to face that when the time comes and see how that goes. So let me show you around. So as you remember, this is the truck that I left with yesterday and I came back with today and this truck is still going to Florida. It's just, I don't know, 48 hours behind now. That's on me. But it gets to now come with a companion and my range extender and uh, in case of emergency. So honestly, like I could stop and have lunch somewhere and charge up for a bit, supercharge both cyber trucks at the same time, take up like all eight stalls at the charging station. Probably not polite, but you get the idea. This is gonna be a fun trip. I don't know what anybody's gonna think when they see this going down the road. A Cybertruck being towed by a Cybertruck.